Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jive Reviews. Well, it's actually been a couple months since I first reported any news on Samsung's next smartwatch, and while there have been a few snippets of information released since that time, there really wasn't anything significant to mention. That is until now. We finally have some leaked photos of what the new smartwatch is going to look like, and these are official as they were uploaded on the South Korean Regulatory Agency's website. And based on these South Korean reports, the new watch is actually going to be called the Galaxy Watch 3, and it's going to come available in two display sizes with a 1.2 inch display on the 41 millimeter version and a 1.4 inch display on the 45 millimeter version. Now the 41 millimeter variant of the watch is going to be powered by a 247 milliamp battery while the 45 millimeter variant is going to come packed with 340 milliamp battery which means you should get some decent battery life at least on this larger model. I'm predicting somewhere in the three to four day range depending on usage that seems pretty reasonable. Now both variants are also going to run Tizen operating system 5.5 right out of the box and I know there were rumors about a Google operating system but those have been officially quashed for now as Samsung wants to stick with the investments it already has made in the Tizen platform. Now let me keep these photos up on the screen for you guys just a little bit longer because the other noticeable feature you're going to see here is the return of a mechanical rotating bezel, albeit in a thinner dimension. And I know many of you are going to rejoice in this because it's actually been two years since Samsung has released a watch with a bezel and of course I'm referring to the Galaxy watch here back in 2018. Since that time Samsung has released two bezel-less models and the Active Watch and the Active Watch 2 which actually were released only months apart and they didn't garner the same excitement as the S3 or the Galaxy Watch did when they were unveiled. Okay, so back to more on this upcoming Galaxy 3 model. Well, both of the new variants are going to have the same IP68 certification for dust and water resistance, just like its predecessor. It's going to be protected with the now standard Gorilla Glass for scratch resistance and durability, and it's going to be available in a stainless steel case as well as a new titanium variant, which I am really excited to see because it's going to be the first time that Samsung has offered a watch in this material, so I'm going to be interested to see how it looks and feels compared to that stainless steel case. And for those keeping score, well, Apple's last smartwatch was released in a titanium finish as well, so it's not really surprising at all to see Samsung step up with this option too. I also wanted to mention that in terms of memory for the Galaxy 3, it's going to come with one gigabyte of RAM and a much needed boost in internal storage, which effectively doubles the previous storage of all its smartwatches, which means you now get eight gigabytes to store more music, apps, photos, and watch faces on. Now for sensors, you're going to get eight on the Galaxy 3, which will enable you to monitor your heart rate, your blood pressure, and now ECG, although I must admit I'm a little cautious on how well it's going to read those last or two measurements but we'll just have to wait and see okay so when are we actually going to see this new smartwatch in the flesh well rumors are that samsung may unveil it as early as next month or just ahead of the galaxy note 20 series launch in august or they may also hold off until September, which is when they've unveiled other smartwatches in the past. It's really hard to say what the plans are for this year, given the impact the pandemic has had on events and gatherings. But nevertheless, I'm sure that this will be on store shelves by the fall and most likely in a similar pricing scheme to what we saw in the launch of the Galaxy Watch, which should be around the $300 to $400 mark, depending on the size and the case that you get. Although expect the titanium finish to also come with a premium price. So tell me what you guys think about the specs and the look of this new Galaxy Watch 3. Is this something that you would actually consider buying? And if so, would you stick with the stainless steel case or would you splurge and get that titanium finish? Let me know in the comments below. I'll keep you guys updated on new information as it comes out, so make sure you subscribe and keep those notifications on. I'll catch all of you in the next review. Until then, take care.